Hello and welcome to Unisic Tutorials. My name is Bosa Yagashko. So today we'll be talking about CRMRs. So this is the introduction video, the first of the many to come. So here you are assumed not to have logged in for the first time on CRMS. That means you've come to the system for the first time. So here we're going to do a rundown of what you're expected to do as a first time coming to the CRMS. So when I say first time, that means this is that you've not logged in before on this platform. So the first thing I need to do is to search. So I'll click on the search profile on the bottom of the login. I'll click on it. It will load the page that says, gives the information saying, welcome to Namdi Aziki with Central, Inform Central Information Refreshing and Management System, CRMS. You can search for members of the university to ensure their affiliations for the institution. So here, if I click this button, I will have the search profile opened. So here now, remember at every point of this information or this platform, it passes information for you. Just when you read the information on the screen, you can understand what you're expected to do. So please always read the information. So here I want to search a name that says, uh, uh, sorry. Mm. So I'm going to use this uh, system to or this particular account to do my demonstration. So here I've confirmed that this name or the person is in the system. That means it's already imputed in the system. That means the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and do the sign-in for this. So I'll click on the button here that says login. I'll click on this and it takes me back to the screen. So here I'm going to put in the information for the login. Remember, always read instructions. So I'm going to zoom into this for us to see. So here we say, welcome to Nayu CRMS portal. Your username is your staff number. SS hyphen the numbers or JS hyphen the numbers. Remember, the format is quite important. So and your password as a default password is project 200 all in lowercase. You can only use your email to log in when you have added and confirmed your email on this platform. But in this case, we have not. So the next thing we need to do is to impute our login or our staff number. So I'm going to type in SS hyphen the staff number which I want to make use of. SS8205, then I'll put in the password project 200 okay once i'm done with this i'll click on sign in button to continue so here we've signed in to the platform if i'm a, on a public computer and this prompts up i'll say never so no need to save the password on the browser so here it says hi chamakabosa welcome to this platform and uh, so on and so forth so here you are expected to impute your email address to the system to ensure effective communication between you before you continue. You see, so here I am going to impute this uh, email address to this user. So ce dot rosa at unisic dot edu dot ng. So remember, this platform only allows the Unisic affiliated emails. That means it must end with at unisic.edu.ng. It is not your personal Gmail or Yahoo mail. So please note that. So when I click on verify, now what the, what happened now is that this platform has sent an email to this particular email that I have imputed, the email address I have imputed. So the email contains a token which I need to verify in order for this email to be added to this particular account. So I need to impute that email. So right now, what I'll need to do is to go back and check in the uh, email address to check if there's an email that dropped. So now the email has entered. So what we need to do is to check the code which we received and impute it. So it says 60812 five nine four remember this code is a unique code which means if you do yours it will send a unique number which identifies you separately so when i click on verify and if this is correct 
it will verify the account so as you can see it says you have added your email to the account successfully so i'll click on the continue to proceed so i'll click on continue so here i am taxed to select a security question which uh, is best fit for me so now there are a list of questions here which are general questions so based on what you know that you like specifically you can now choose an answer so in this case i'll choose one of these questions but because this is um personal i will need to select i will need to actually skip this step but once you selected the question peradventure we selected this and here we are expected to impute the answer get so once we impute the answer, we'll click on set security questions. But for now, we need to skip this in order for security purposes. So it says uh, your security question has been set successfully. So which means we are done with that. So when we click on continue, we go to the next one, which seems to be for us to set our pin. Now, let me explain what this pin is. This pin is such like a token which you use in confirmation when you're doing a transaction using your ussd on your phone from your bank so it's used to confirm everything just like a signature is so here you're selected you are expected to put in uh, a four digit number in order to create your security pin so in this case i will do that so i'll select the four digits and click on set security pin so now this pin has been set. I'll click on no thanks and click on continue to proceed to the next step. Here, I'm expected to change or create a password rather. So in order to change it from the project 200, which it was initially. Now this says you will be logged out automatically from all sessions if you change your password. Yes, think of, of about it this way. You change the key to your door the old key will not access you in that means you need to use the new key to log in so when we change the password it will log us out for us to use the new password to log in so the next thing we're going to do is to change the password right here i'm going to type in a password which i want to make use of so i'll type in um, So the requirements for this setting of this password is they are listed below which means it must be eight up to eight characters and must contain any of the special char characters listed here i mean special characters like art exclamation mark dollar sign etc so the one that best suits you can do that but before you can set your password that means you need to confirm using the pin you just created so the four digit pin you just created I'm going to put it in in order for me to confirm this and proceed. So right now, it says that your password has been changed successfully. So that's been said. So I'll click on no thanks. And now I'll click on continue. Remember, we had a prompt initially that says we'll be logged out of this if we change our password. So we're expecting to be logged out. So when we click on this, it reloads. So right now, what we need to do is to click on login in order for us to continue. So here, now I can now log in using the email address which we created, or which was created for us that we used, that we just integrated into the platform. So you can also log in using still the staff number if you choose. Remember now, you're not logging in using your default uh, password, the project 200 anymore. We created a password. So I'm going to put in that password and log in. When I'm done, I'll click on sign in. Voila, we're logged into the system. So this is how you set up your system. If you want to continue hands, 
if you go to the next video for us to proceed to the next one which is the personal details thank you for sticking with us god bless